Dubious Ones, welcome back to Destiny, The Rise of Iron. Today we're doing our first legendary weapon review of The Rise of Iron, and we're getting one beautiful roll that we got out of my 50 plus package opening video. This being my pride and joy, my The Waltz that has the counterbalance, perfect balance, and high caliber rounds. This thing's a beast. Uh, the sights, a lot of people are not fans of the sights um, that are available on uh, this gun, but I actually like the reflex sight quite a bit myself. Uh, it's really personal preference. Uh, this per the uh, also possible perks I rolled with are quick draw, but of course I'm going to be using high caliber rounds for more range and more flinch on my opponents, uh, as well as I could use Outlaw, but I mean, Perfect Balance is a little bit more effective than the faster reload. Of course, I have Pulse Rifle Reloading Gauntlets, so that'll help with that anyways. But Guardians, this thing's a beast. I don't know yet if I like it better or worse than my Grasp Amalek that has Headseeker, Braced Frame, and Feeding Frenzy. It's a god roll, it's a beast, so is this guy. Uh, the high caliber rounds make a huge difference, and the counterbalance and perfect balance really make the stability really manageable. Whereas I found with just perfect balance alone, it's just not enough for this gun, and this gun does not roll with brace frame or handling stock. So you can't get those super stability perks on this gun. So this is the god roll. This is pretty much the best roll I think you can get for this gun. For me anyways, it definitely is. Um, so let's jump into some Crucible, see how we do, and uh, check out this gun. Daily today's control. We're going to start with that. Anyways, dubious ones, we'll see you on the other side. Alright, that's Cauldron. Bit of Shotgunner's Haven. But we will try and stand back and hold the ground. Alright guys, now we have taken over the audio. And I'm doing some post-video commentary as the in-game commentary itself was completely drowned out by the game sounds themselves. So we're going to try this over. It's the first time for us, so hopefully this goes well. But this was a very good game and some good gameplay footage of the waltz. I love this gun. This thing's amazing. And we did fairly well in these games, so I did definitely wanted to keep the footage. Now here we are moving into B here, and you're dead. And Warlock, no, we don't like Warlocks, and you're dead. Bad Ram, that's a bad sheep. Black sheep. Now let's get in here. Going in, smash, oh, 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 we had those hedge, hey, okay, we killed somebody. We killed somebody, there's one. And being a real team player here, going for zone B. We are, oh, and head shots for Daisy Dead. And, oh, that was an assist. Oh, and two assists. Oh, look at that. See, look at that team play. Totally being a team player. And come on, peek your head through. You know you want it. Oh, and behind us, it's time to pull out a shotgun. Yep, yep, shotguns. Oh, and we're getting shot from behind. Sometimes you just need a shotgun because a primary just won't do it. And boom, you're dead. That waltz though, those high caliber rounds are beautiful. I absolutely adore them. They really do the trick. And shotgun. And a shotgun. That's why, kids, you need to use a special weapon from time to time. Because if you try using your primary in a close quarters engagement like that, see? gonna have a bad time to a shotgun that's what happens when you get close quarters and you're using anything other than the last word and we've got our team behind us we have our blade we're capturing C maybe we're oh we're gonna move into B with the blade and wreck some faces we got one. Oh no where are we being shot from ah ah oh and yeah we're going invisible can we get him? Oh, blade's running out. Get him! Get him! Oh no, the blade ran out. Oh, and we're dead. And we had a bad time. That was no good. Now we're moving at C. Someone's trying to take C. Where's the rest of the team? Where's the. Ah, uh, ooh, and we killed him. And he's dead. That 30 round magazine, though. So nice. 
And we're being, once again, playing that objective. That OBJ getting that zone C. Oh, and we got a little sneaky guy using his Telesto over there. I think not, sir. I think not. Oh, and we hear Super. Looks like a Super. And we got some orbs of light here. I like those. Oh, oh, and grenades for days. Coming in. Look at those sneaky guys. Oh, go on, Golden Gun. Get him. Get him. Get him. And shotgun. And shotgun. Because sometimes you just need to have your shotgun ready. And Telesto eat that. Yeah. Look at that. Headshots for days. Whoop, whoop. Then we got our blade. Oh, yes. Here we come. Oh, why did we run backwards? That was silly. And we're just wasting half our blade. There's one. Spraying and playing. There's two. And, yeah, we crouched. We're smart. We knew it was running out. And throw those grenades. Yeah. Get them. Get them. Skips, get him. Nice. Headshots for days. Get that health regen. Playing that OBJ. Taking over A. Look at us being a team player. But seriously, you guys. This gun is so much fun. If you can get it with high caliber rounds, counterbalance, perfect balance. The, uh, the recoil is very easy to deal with. And some meat shields. Thank you, teammates, for being my meat shields. Always appreciated. And shotgun. And see, you just always got to be paying attention to your radar because look, shotgun. Yeah, because if you don't use a shot, oh, Twitch, Twitch, that guy's Twitch streaming. Look at him. Did you see his body? <laughs> He's totally Twitch streaming. But uh, you totally need a shotgun for those close quarters engagements because if you don't, look what happens. You get killed by a shotgun. I mean, this thing's great to use against snipers because of the flinch and that high caliber rounds gives off on top of the flinch they added to uh, snipers recently. And chuck it. And <laughs> oh, somebody's coming in. Get that heavy before we're dead. Pull it. Somebody pull it. Beautiful. All right. And double down. Baller horn. Baller horn. And you're dead. And that was fun with baller horn. Whoop. And I missed. And get him. And can we get anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody at all? Anybody want to play? Come play. Hey, come play, Ramlock. Oh, and and a second guy. Oh, it looked like it ran out, but we totally had time for that. Double down. Boom. Get him, boys. Get him. That OBJ play, though. So real. Capturing zone C. All right. Zone C captured. You control all zones. And we're moving. We're moving. Getting a good vantage point over here. Nobody wants to come in and play. Nobody's trying to take the... Oh, we got something out. Yeah, I think we should pull out our shotgun. I see red on the radar. You know, look at that. Foot Nova bomb. And those were terrible skips. Didn't get through the door. Yeah, probably smart to go around and pull out that shotgun. He's coming after us, but we've got a shotgun. Boom, and melee. One final push and victory is yours. See, because if you try and use a primary in a lot of those spots, you're just going to have a bad time. Yeah, look at that. We got the legendary marks. We get some bounties. Hell of a game. I do love that map. And ooh, that was just brutal. That was just an unfair matchup. More than double them in points. There probably should have been a mercy rule somewhere in there. But that was a beautiful first game. Now we're going to pause the commentary and go back to the end game uh, until we load in to the next map. Let you guys uh, hear what I was saying live in game. And go with that. And if you're curious as to the uh, shotgun I'm running right now, it is a Matador with uh, full auto and crowd control. And of course, rifle barrel and aggressive ballistics in case you were curious. The beautiful shotgun. I actually got that, I think, in my first Crucible match I played as a Rise of Iron. I have very good RNG when it comes to uh, drops in the Crucible. I'll tell you that right now. And if you were curious of this uh, 
ill will we got. It came with reactive reload. Hoo hoo hoo, hammer forge. Reinforced barrel and hammer forge. Okay, so there's no point in even having rifle barrel because it maxes the range of hammer forge. All right, hammer forged it is. Don't sacrifice anything else. Uh, reactive reload, triple tap. We got fast draw, quick draw, and steady hand. That's not a bad roll of ill will. I mean, it like just completely max range. That's uh, we, we might have to test that. Out. All right, we got floating agadans. Uh, All right. Welcome back. We are again with the Ant Post live commentary. You can hear in the background the old stuff, uh, the live commentary, but just got completely drowned out by the sound of, uh, you know, the, the sound effects and the game sound was a little bit too loud for this recording. So, um, yeah. Uh, this, I was saying that it, this is a new map for me. I'm really, really not used to it. I'm not comfortable with it really necessarily. Uh, it's not the best for me. But uh, I did my best. Uh, we didn't have quite as good a game, but we did have fun. Um, I find this map. Ooh, look at that. Beauty. And whoa, sent like 50 feet in the air from that melee. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know how that happens that um, the melee sometimes will throw you like 20 feet in the air, 20 feet back. Kind of weird. But uh, I definitely find that this map is a lot more close quarters weapons engagements. Um, I found when I was d using the new artifact that gives you dual melees and dual grenades and no super, when I was using my Night Stalker I and I was using that paired with a fusion, I was doing quite well on this map. Um, this, of course, was later after this gameplay was recorded. But, um, no, I, I, I don't mind this map so much now, but this was one of my very first times playing on it. I really wasn't overly comfortable with it. Um, I did my best. Uh, there was a lot of shotgunning happened on this map for me. Um, just because there was so many close quarters engagements. But uh, either way, Waltz is, is really a great weapon on, I would say, any map in uh, pretty much any uh, loadout you have, whether you're using a sniper or a um, close range weapon. For me, I'm not great with snipers, so I prefer having a close range secondary. But this thing does melt face, and um, it's not it's not terrible at a really close range either. I mean, chances are you're going to lose out to a shotgun rusher, but that's, uh, most guns will. And that's why you use the shotgun there. Uh, I totally just shotgun and ruin that guy's night. Shotgun his face. I'm sure he's going to be breaking a controller later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I could consistently do that, then I'd be having a good time. Ooh, let's see if I can get this guy. And shotgun! He did not see it coming. And now they're all around me. I'm totally going to die. So many of them around me. Oh my god. How? Did, wow. How I lived. Wow. How did I live through that? That's pretty. That is impressive. That is impressive. I cannot believe it. I don't believe it. Peek ahead. Come on. Oh, and he ran away. He totally doesn't want to peek. And a little drop frames there. Looks like we dropped some frames. And... Shotgun? I have a shotgun for you, sir. And I totally missed. Oh my goodness, I'm totally gonna die. Hey, my teammates are saving me. Save me, teammates. Save me, Tom Cruise. Save me, Tom Cruise. Oh my goodness. And I hear hammers. I'm hoping they're friendly. Because we're totally gonna die if they're not friendly hammers. And they, yep, no, they are friendly. See, we totally would have died if those weren't friendly. Oh, but those aren't friendly. And I'm reloading. Oh, I'm totally gonna die. Yeah. If I didn't have to reload there, I would have had a chance. And had he not gained that overshield from proccing his uh, his super there, he would have died. So yeah, good on him for using simmering flames or flame shield, whatever, whatever, whatever that uh, perk is called to get your uh, overshield when you proc it. And get the shield from it. And once again, see all these close quarters. Every time you peek a corner, there's not a lot of long, long sight lines here for us. That's nice. Skips doing their job. And can we beat this guy? Can we beat? Oh, 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 nice team shots. 
I like it. I don't know if I would have won that gunfight if my teammate hadn't helped me there. And my aim is terrible. And we got the assist. Oh my god, how are we alive? That guy just ran totally could have killed us. Wow, our teammate is saving our ass right now. Oh, and behind us, we're totally dead. Yeah, shotgun. Shotgun, yeah, we saw it on the radar. Didn't know whether to go forwards, backwards. Probably should have rushed forward a little bit more. Wouldn't have had time to turn around, but... This is why, kids, you should always have your shotgun ready. And blading it. One, two. Oh, we're burning. Oh, we are burning, and he's shooting us. Yeah, yeah, that burn. That burn is so real. See, that is where that um, new artifact that gets rid of the thorn burn, as well as um, burn from everything, uh, or, or reduces it, that would have saved us. Oh, well, that was an unfortunate skip. Just got stuck right in the ground for some reason. Didn't bounce at all. Yeah, let's go. Available. Shotguns. To the face. Ooh. And rockets to the face. And we gotcha. I love it. Shooting you in the back. That's what we're special. That's our specialty. That's what we're best at. Shooting you from behind. Oh my goodness, we're totally gonna die, but we got that special. Can we get him? Can we get? Oh, he's not peeking now. Yeah, our teammate scared him. Where'd he go? He's gone. Play that OBJ. Capture that zone. Yeah, no neutralize that zombie. Yeah, that's right. Capture it. Captured. Who oh, do I hear a hammer? I don't like the sounds of that. And oh, that was a friendly fist of panic. It was a friendly smash. Oh, I hear hammers again. It's not a good sound. Not a good sound at all. And we see him on a radar. Can't see him though. This is why you should just always have a shotgun out. Because, yep. Shotguns are great. And we're dead. Ooh, but we almost got him. We had so low health and we still, just because we had a shotgun out, <laughs> totally almost got him. That's the beauty of special weapons in this game cuz why would you ever want to use a primary when you have a special and Ricky yeah unfortunately we can't join you till after this gameplay my friend but oh come on yeah I got that kill Avenger baby Avenger those teammates and smashy nice a Titan smash from our team and we're dead oh shotgun clutch shotgun oh no 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 that was a bad blade <gasps> no we're alive oh god oh Oh, oh my god, we're still alive. How are we still alive? How? Oh, three of them. Oh my god, how did we survive that? No way. Oh, we're going ham. Oh, we got him with a shotgun. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's two of them. Oh my god, we are going off. Oh no. No, get him. Oh no. Run. Run. Oh, run. Sprint around that corner. Oh my god, we're still alive. Oh, come get us. Come get us. Get him. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh my god. That was so clutch. How did we survive that? That's so crazy. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was play of the game right there. Yeah, if they had an Overwatch thing where they had, like, play of the game, that totally would have been play of the game. That was so clutch. Wow. We nearly wiped their entire team. Oh, come on. Pull out the shotgun. You're going to die if you don't pull out the shot. Yeah, get the shotgun. Come on, you can stay alive. Oh, grenades. Void walls. Oh, we're in first place for a team. Wow. Pulled into first place. That was a crazy play, though. That was awesome. Got, like, at least five of them with that blade and, and shotgun action fun. That's what I mean. I mean, this guy, I know it's a gameplay of the waltz, but in reality, if you're playing Crucible, you're never just using your primary. Like, you just can't. Yeah, you can use just a secondary if you can keep ammo for it, like a shotgun or, or fusion or, or, or sniper on like some maps. But you can't just use a primary, or you're going to have a bad time. Like, you can, but that's what happens. Do you see how many shots I got on him? And he just rushed me with a shotgun. 
that's why you can't just use a primary in this game, because just that's what's going to happen to you. You're going to have a bad time. You're going to be gunning him down, and if you don't land all headshots to kill him instantly, you're going to die to the shotgun, which is why we pulled out a shotgun there to prove a point. Shotguns are... Well, I, it's not even their OP. It's just special weapons, period, are just so much stronger than primaries. Primaries are good. This is a very good primary. But when it comes down to it, you know... Specials are like a, a one-shot kill. I mean, at least for fusions, shotguns, snipers. Uh, sidearms a little different. Sidearms are in a kind of a strange place right now. Um, I think if they buff the range too much, they'll be too OP. But if they don't do something, they're too underpowered. So yeah. Oh, and another blade. No, oh, whoa, they're no oh, team shot. No, oh, yeah, yeah. We only got one of them though. That's kind of sad. Yeah, we won though. Not quite as good a blade as the last one. <laughs> totally got team shot and destroyed there. But there you go, you guys. I mean, this was, uh, it's kind of fun. I recommend it. Uh, I definitely would say 10 out of 10. Recommend to a friend. Uh, I definitely give this gun uh, one of my few guns. I definitely will go with this roll. I give it a 10 star frog splash. I say it's uh, probably one of the best primaries there are out there right now to be used. I, uh, I love it. I mean, 18 kills, 1.64, some captures. We had a good game. Um, I definitely say if you haven't got this weapon, it, the vendor roll is not the best. You don't want to just buy it from the vendor. You definitely want to get it dropped from a Future War Cult package. I did a 50 um, weapons package opening video, including the Future War Cult. It only took me about 10 packages. I got lucky. I opened and got this god roll. Uh, from that, but yes, this is the role you want. It's counterbalance, high caliber rounds, perfect balance. It is so beautiful. I I really I think I like it better than my God rolled Grasp of Malik, which again has Head Seeker, Braced Frame, uh, Feeding Frenzy. It's a it's a monster as well. But this thing with the high caliber rounds, I just notice it flinches guys so hard in one on one gunfights. Um, if you find this role, you're going to enjoy it. If you find a, a role that you enjoy um, that's maybe different and you really like it, maybe with armor piercing rounds or something, or I don't know, just something maybe a little bit different, and you f find that it's also a beast, feel free to leave a comment in uh, the comment section down below. Also, if there's any weapons in particular, you dubious ones, uh, want to see me review, I will do my best to get a good roll of said weapon and uh, test it out, out in the Crucible for you guys. Uh, because for me, the, for the most part, I try and only review guns that I have uh, really, really good rolls on uh, or god rolls of because uh, I don't feel that you do weapons justice when you, when you review them with terrible perks. Because with terrible perks, this gun is terrible. But with great perks, this thing is a beast. So, as you can see. So, it really comes down to the perks at the end of the day. Anyways, it looks like the video's ending, so that is it for me, dubious ones. Enjoy the outro. As always, dubious ones, if you enjoyed my videos, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Mr. Jobs, out. Peace!